Baron Davis hitting the jumper. Davis smacks it in. So strong. Davis pretty move. Davis gets inside. Davis to the basket. He goes to the rope with such strength. A man who shocked the basketball world a couple of years ago when he led the resurgent Golden State Warriors to a huge upset of the Dallas Mavericks. He was the leader of one of the most exciting teams in the NBA, and then he left. Please welcome one of the premier guards in the league and one of my favorite people in the world, B.D. Baron Davis of the Los Angeles Clippers. Baron, thank you very much for joining us. Oh, man, thanks for having me. You know it's a pleasure. All right, tell me briefly about the move back home to L.A., uh, it's been great so far. Uh, I mean, the best thing about it is, you know, we have a new practice facility. It's open 24 hours a day. So, you know, after practice, I can shoot to my grandmother's house, get some good, you know, home cooking, and then come back and work it off. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's been like the best thing. That's been like the best thing, though. Hey, BD, what's going on, buddy? What's up? <laughs> what's up, G? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you wanted to go. I knew you wanted to go home so you could be around, be around your grandmother and everything. I've been watching you playing preseason. You're feeling good. You're gonna get that team a lot of swagger, and you know I know that because you're that type of guy. And I think y'all gonna be one of the top teams in the in the West. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with you, and I know you're gonna come back and just play. And uh, what you what do you feel about this team that you, that you think that y'all gonna do in this season? Um, first and foremost, I think that we have great chemistry already just from the uh, amount of different personalities. When you have a team, you know, full of personalities and, and, and good dudes, you know, it makes it easier for you guys, for, for us to form an identity. Um, the, the overall thing is, is, is how fast we can form that identity. When you've got 15 new, new guys playing together with, uh, under a coach and, and, and adapting a new uh, system and a, and a new offense and defense, is hard. But, you know, everybody on our team, you know, you look at Camby, you look at Tim Thomas, you look at uh, Catino Mobley came, and everybody pretty much never really had a role in a defined role or, you know, had to sacrifice their game for some, somebody else. But now... You know, together we all are, are all sacrifices. So it makes our my, makes our situation easier. And for me as a point guard, you know, I like to distribute the ball and, and let everybody score. So it's going to be great having a bunch of wing guys that can fill it up from the outside and then also having those big guys that you can rely on down low. Hey, BD, hey, man, uh, you know, I played with you, and I, I know what you're going to do for this team. I've actually seen what you've done with Beatrice back in uh, Golden State. I have two questions. One, what, what are you going to do for Chris Kamen? You know, I know him, and I, and I, I know he needs somebody like you to, to kind of help out with him being consistent. And second, you know, after y'all make the playoffs or win the championship, are we going to finish our best of both world, world tours? You know, I don't think people know how me and used to go out and perform on the weekends. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, different concerts. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Are yeah. we going to continue to show oh, yeah. oh, people yeah. see us? You know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, 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 oh, yeah. <laughs> Before you, before you answer that question, the show that we have on here now is an interactive show where you can take, uh, film all your stuff, send it in, and we will put it right on television here. Because I'd like to see the best of both worlds between oh, yeah. you and Ben. Oh, that, oh only, yeah, oh yeah, most definitely, we yeah. Point guard, part four oh, we, come we were on. two of the best duo groups, I feel. We might have been yeah, the best duo yeah, in the world for in the real. last 20 years. When it we can go platinum. Well, we, we look forward to we seeing that We can definitely go platinum. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. yeah well, I mean, we're going to have that, you know, to ask your second question whenever you're ready you know i got nothing but time to do this world tour nobody know you know how I many you get down in, in, in that studio on that microphone so we're gonna leave that one alone okay, leave and let the fans just that. catch up we're gonna let them catch up on that one in the summertime uh as far as cayman go uh <laughs> i mean we all we all, we all know cayman is a a very talented big talented big guy and you know he can shoot with both both hands uh he runs the floor well and I think w what we've been learning about each other uh, during training camp is just trying to get in the right position, you know, me getting him the ball where he likes it, you know, uh, uh, trying to get him, you know, uh, as far as picking rolls to get in the, those pockets. And I just want to create a lot of easy shots for him. I don't think that he's really had a point guard uh, that created shots for him and made his, made his life a lot easier without him having to post up every time. So, you know, uh, that's been the one thing we've been working on is trying to find that right niche and, 
you know, the time, timing on all our pick and rolls and just, you know, just playing off of each other. But, you know, it's going to take some time. But he, he's, a, he's a very smart guy. He's a great personality on the team, and he works hard. So it shouldn't be as hard, as hard as people think it is. Now, Baron, you know the Clippers have struggled for a long time. Do you take it as a personal challenge yeah. to try to turn the franchise around? <laughs> Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh. <laughs> uh, well, we uh, yeah, uh, like yeah, we, you told me y'all yeah, we, we, games. Let's just put it out there to the world. Yeah, I mean, I want to win 82. I think we can win 82, but uh, it's a long season, and uh, you know, we're gonna we're, we're gonna take them as we come. You know, we are we are the Clippers, and you know, for so long people have had uh, kind of like a negative feel, and and us being you know this organization not being known as a winning organization. I think uh, by me coming here, it's just it, it's better upside. You know, it's better upside for the organization, for myself, for Coach Dunleavy, and for the talent that we have on this team. So you know. Um, Nobody expects anything from us, you know, none of the media, the sports writers. I mean, you two are probably in, in the mind. I know you got our back, too. So y'all are the only three that probably, you know, got us ranked anywhere over 50 wins or anywhere, you know, uh, making the playoffs. But, you know, we have a lot of upside, and I, and I know we can do it with, this talent, with the talent on this team. It's just finding that right cohesion. You know, I, let me just set this right. I'm a big Chris Kamen fan, big fan. He got serious nice. games. Anyway, let me ask you one more thing. You talked about, because uh, this brought it up when you talked about going to your grandma's house to eat. What's up with the Jenny Craig thing, brother? <laughs> I heard oh, you yeah, that's good. That's, that's Tell me about <laughs> it. <laughs> well, first and foremost, uh, yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to do that. <laughs> I'm trying to do all that. I'm trying to get on the cover of Men's Fitness. You know what I mean? But uh, <laughs> really, it was... It was um, it was something for me in the summer because, you know, as as you all know, I've always, uh, you know, went up and down in my weight and always played played bigger. But now as I uh, transition into the prime of my career, I, I wanted to be lighter. So I just adopted a diet plan and, and going with Jenny Direct, it gave me an opportunity just to have a team of people around me to, like, monitor my diet, making sure that I was eating the right foods. And even when I go out to restaurants, having someone to call in and making sure that, you know, the right things are on the menu. So... For me, it was a challenge for myself as well as, you know, inspiration to older men in my life, you know, former coaches that, uh, you know, how coaches like to eat and how their bellies look. So I'm trying to get them to uh, lose a lot of weight and just, you know, overall just create a, 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 better, a better system for men in general and, and, and healthy living. All right, BD, we really appreciate you coming on with us, uh, and we hope to see you a, a lot during the course of the season. Come back and yeah. visit us. Yeah, I can't wait to see you all. Yeah, and come visit me out here. It's uh, 83 degrees today. <laughs> we'll be out there. All right, stay healthy, man. <laughs>